It's a flying day today. But first of all, I'm gonna get this lot out of the flat, into the car, down to Blackbush. Hopefully then fly up to Earl's Colne, and then Earl's Colne back down to Devon with a 40 knot headwind before the weather front comes in. But tomorrow is Storm Kathleen, I think, and I need to get Dusty back in the hangar before that storm arrives. Already running 20 minutes behind time. Not good. Oh, look. look at that! Ooh. It's an emirate! Etihad. Etihad. Wait, Etihad. Whoa! You That's wanted to get close to real double decker. Well, that was close. We were right underneath it. Yeah! Right, bags are in the plane. Um, just gotta go and quick trip to the cafe, get the covers off the plane, <clears throat> and then hopefully get in the air to Earl's Cole kind of improving all the time. Um, but mission number one is to get out of Blackbush today, no matter what happens, because Blackbush Airport closes on Monday and it's Friday today. Mission number two is to get back to Dunk as well, into the hangar before the storm arrives tomorrow. If the weather's looking good enough and there's enough time to get up to Earl's Cole for a meeting um, I want to have today, then that will be the nice to have. So let's get the plane ready and look at the weather. I've got 2,000 foot cloud bases and it's improving, so I'm still optimistic, although starting to get a bit tight on time. The golden rule is go slow or no go. This will be mine. Back in the Blackbridge Cafe. It's always busy in here. Thanks so much, mate. That's great. Thanks a lot, mate. The sea from the water on the wing. It's been a lot of rain here. That's why these Monarch fuel caps are amazing. They're really, really good at stopping water getting in. Where have we got? 20, 28, 20, 48 gallons is way more than I need for what I'm doing. So I've got three hours of fuel on board, over three hours of fuel on board, including reserves. Three, three and a half. So two and a half hours flight time with, with reserves. Contamination, quantity, check the oil. Just gonna do the walk around and then get, get ready to get packing. So those are my conditions. Um, the marginal is cloud bases of 2,300 feet. I'm planning my route at 2,000 feet the whole way. And the winds aloft are pretty bumpy. Uh, windy on the ground, but mostly down the runway at Earl's Colne. So I am assured. Okay, we're gonna do flaps 10 takeoff. Bit gusty. Got a left hand crosswind, but it's blowing around all over the place. Hello, Blackbush Tower, Golf Kilo Wind, Golf Charge, Kilo Window, Blackbush Bags, for local Prop, flight, part of the Green Hunters, Instruments, information for local flight. Amateur, Suction Gauge. Kilo India, Blackbush Mission, good morning, your readability 5 taxi, Alpha 125, left hand circuit, QNH 1003. So we are taking off straight out to the west and then turning north on track to 355. And we're going to be staying just below the cloud base and avoiding White Waltham, Wickham Park and Elstree. And then hoping to get a zone transit from Stansted to cut off the last corner of the trip. Number 2 Sierra, are uh, ready for departure. Uh, request taxi for departure. Number 2 Sierra, order taxi, Holy Point Alpha 1, the runway condition report 255, standing water wet, wet 75, 100, 100, 4 mile depth, not reportable. Copy that, 200, um, taxing, holding point alpha one. And back with some information, can you just clarify um, the, the, yeah, the standing water, copy that. Uh, what was the 255? Number 200, it's just the uh, designator for the standing water, so the two means standing water, the five means it's wet. Copy that, and apologies for not knowing that. Well, you're not the first, and I'm sure you won't be the last. <laughs> Always ask. Don't just say, yes, I'm sure I mean, that could mean anything. I have no idea what that meant. I thought I'd better ask. Let me to 0 holding Alpha 1, ready for departure. 2 0 0 surface wind 2 3 degrees 1 0 knots, gust 1 8, runway 2 5, take off at your discretion. Taking off, runway 2 5, November 2 0 0. Punchy gusts.
Something sideways scrubbing those tires on the takeoff. Woo! Bouncy. Transit 
Clear, not above 2,000 feet, VFR, November 200, direct Dallas Com. Right. Oh, not above 2,000 feet! Thermals are pushing me up, let's get down. Let me show this to the line. This is fun! Five knots maintained until four miles. Line 6, five knots, that's just four miles. Line now, uh, two five. Final five, Charlie Hotel, descent to altitude 2,000 feet, turn right heading 195, clear down. Right, so it's running the whole, north about 1,800. 2,000 feet, clear the first right to two, and have a... Give myself 200 feet. November 200, Sierra, Medic Control, airspace, radar control service. Radar control, November 200, Sierra. 9948, Bravo, contact London, 1... Oh, this is exciting! 19780, Ryan Air, 94, thank you. Front to 19 Kilo Bravo, turn right, heading 295, descent to altitude. We did what he promised. Right, I'll just see if the autopilot wants to help. Thanks, climb to maintain 4,000 feet. Look at all those planes on the screen. 4,000 feet, play one of them. Coming to land at Stansted. Final five to speed of 165 knots maintained at 4 miles. 165 knots, high now, first traded. Bye, Charlie Hotel. Disregard, sir. Back to you in a moment. Break, break, Rhino, 2476, number one. Tower now, call sign only, 123.805. Bye-bye. Number one, auto please, also right now, 4476. Right. Charles Cole, 123430. <laughs> literally, I can't get my hand on the knob. Uh, 19 Kilo Bravo, left heading 275. So one, two, two. Left heading 270 and speed. 430. But if this bouncy, even tuning a frequency, is a real challenge. 275, rather than heading, Sancho, Banner, Kilo Bravo. Channel X1518, turn right, heading 295, descent to altitude 4,000 feet. Right heading 295, descent to altitude 4,000 feet, Channel X. Uh, it's a real downdraft we just had to fight through. Charles Cole Radio, November 1320, Sierra, 12 miles to the southwest, inbound for downwind, joined for runway 24, November 20, Sierra. Number 3120 Sierra, this is Kilo Radio, runway is 24, left hand circuit, QNH 1003, QFE 994, Hector Pascal. Number 24, left hand, QFE 994, November 1320 Sierra, thank you. Right. QNH 20, Sierra, be advised, 1 aircraft, surely take off for remaining in the circuit. Roger that, 2 0 Sierra. Golf up, power, vacate, 2 4. Golf out for Right. And hand fly, autopilot off. I am going to do... Whoa! I think I'm going to do a flapless landing. What race course is that? Brain tree. Uh, golf out kilo, speech with the inbound traffic. Golf out kilo, watch Golf Golf Lima, Roger. Uh, Golf Golf Lima, be advised, one aircraft in the circuit, one aircraft inbound. Golf Golf Lima. Traction two inbound. Remember to zero sure, I mean, I'm now downwind, runway two four. Remember to zero sure, Roger. Not visual with the, oh yeah, now visual with the aircraft just departed. Flaps ten. Brakes off, undercarriage down, fixed, mix to rich, prop full forward, flaps 10. <coughs> 2 0 0 left base, runway 2 4. 11 2 0 0, Roger. Reds, greens, blues, autopilot off, landing light on, flaps 10. Right, landing checks complete, just focus on getting it down on that skinny strip of nice fresh new tarmac. Number 200, turning final runway 24 to land. Roger, set in 230 degrees, 15 knots. Okay, let's get the airspeed down from 100 knots down to 70, please. Dusty, there we are. Better. South Bravo is entering the ATZ from the northeast and descending to Berkeley Heights. Bit of wind 
see that? That was a challenging final approach. Yeah, uh, Robert, uh, November 2 0, there's quite a lot of uh, wind shear on short final 2 0. November 2 0, Sierra, watch out, yeah, my airspeed got down to like 60 and then was suddenly up at 80 again. Just before I touched it down. South South Robin, like that wind. South South Robin, okay. Oh, that was fun. That was brilliant. That was exciting. That was challenging. That was all of those things. That was wicked. Fueled up at Earl's Cole. Look at this. £1.86. It's a bargain. That's the cheapest anywhere that I've found. Thank you very much, Oscar. Cheap fuel.